Hey y'all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Cutting Rocks, where I cut through rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, see what spills out. So as you can see here, this week we are going to do some Jacobsville sandstone, so pretty characteristic red and white, or red and yellow, or red and brown, red and pink, um, very blotchy usually, named after um, Jacobsville, Michigan, which was a town in Michigan that actually um, produced a lot of this, like for construction and stuff. Um, it, it does have a lot of other names, brown sandstone, eastern sandstone, redstone people called it, but I just know it as Jacobsville sandstone. Um, it got carried down to me um, from the glaciers, you know, the glaciers carried it down from Michigan, basically down to the lake shore where I find it, and I do find quite a bit of it. Um, I am doing a project outside in spring where I need a bunch of little halves of these. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to cut all these in half the long way, get the biggest faces possible, and just see if we can get some cool patterns in there. So uh, we will use the high-tech 10-inch slab saw. We're going to use a thin centered blade. So let's get set up and we'll get cutting these. Okay, so through number one, I'm just hoping there's red and white in all of these, basically. So let's see. Ooh, that looks even better on the inside than it did on the outside. And this stuff is actually really good sandstone. Like I say that good sandstone, it holds together really good and it actually shines up okay. So something like that would shine up okay. Um, and I might actually shine this side of that one up, actually. It's a nice little size, but First one, I would say one for one. Nice red and white. All right, on to number two. All right, second one. I'm hoping for more of the same. This one might be a little more white on the inside. Oh, stayed that yellow, which is cool. So it, sometimes it keeps that little yellow tint in there. If you get way in there, and I will at the end, you can see all the little grains. But that's another very nicely patterned one, actually. I might have to shine a couple of these up just to shine them up and see what they look like. But, all right, two for two, on to number three. pretty much we just want to get some different patterns on the inside yeah pretty similar to that first one this one feels a little grittier actually so this one might not be held together quite as good as the other ones could just be a weathered you know regular sandstone probably still a Jacobsville just a grittier one but still very cool I'm getting my little halves that I want for my project in spring so all right three for three well, let's keep going four pretty much the same again you know a lot of these are similar but oh that's a cool pattern too a little bit smaller white spots in there so still cool still cool like i said all i'm really going for is these halves like this and i kind of just wanted to show you guys you know i'm sure some of you are you know wondering what jacobsville sandstone kind of looks like on the inside maybe i did i, I remember when i found my first couple so that's why I'm doing this video. So they all look pretty good so far. Red and white is basically what you're looking for. So, all right, on to the next. All right, that was kind of an oddly shaped one. So I took like a flat, you know, like a flat section off of it. This one should be a little more white too, I would think. Yeah, a little bit more white or, you know, that kind of beigey stained color in there. Very cool, though. You know, a couple of these, I don't know if they would shine okay. They're just a little looser than the other ones, but still all very cool looking. You know, I never get sick of seeing all those random red and white patterns in there. So, 
All right, five for five. Let's get on to the last one. Okay, so last one. This one was a little more weathered on the outside. So let's see. Oh, nice and fall. Very, very cool. I just like how this stuff has such random patterns on the inside. And like I said, it doesn't shine up too bad. It doesn't take a, you know, mirror shine, obviously. Sometimes it does if it's got enough, <clears throat> you know, silica content in there. Like this one, you can see, is a little whiter, you know, a little more sparkly, a little clearer grains in there. So that one might shine up a little better, but you never know. But I would say definitely all uh, a win. You know, I'm going to put them down on the ground outside like this with the flat sides down, I think. Maybe with the flat sides up. I don't know, but I'll show you guys that project in spring when we get there for sure. But for today, these were definitely all uh, exactly what I was looking for. And hopefully you guys know now what, you know, Jacobsville Sandstone has to offer. So if you like this video, leave a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.